The weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful, and sun swim no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Christmas times we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Well, hello there. Are you ready for another day of Vlogmas? Are you ready for another day of Vlogmas? It's actually Mama Kelly's last day. I don't want to cry right now, so let's not talk about it. We'll cry later. Because I was really upset earlier. I was really upset last night. In a perfect world, I would just live with you all the time. <laughs> but we can't do that. No. We have to both have our own lives. Yeah, because you live in Wisconsin. And you're almost 25, 25. years old. Okay, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not almost 25. I just turned 24. Once you go over the age, you're almost to the next one. That is so not like, correct. That is... <laughs> Since it's Mama Kelly's last day, it needs to be special. Booked us a little lunch. Now I should have done a little bit more research into the cost of said lunch. I just saw someone make a TikTok about it. I looked and they happened to have a reservation open at 2.15. It's starving. Yeah, see, I'm not so sure that the food we're gonna wanna eat it. I didn't book it for the menu. Isn't that why we eat? So what did we book it for? I just wanted it to be special, but I just didn't look it up. And apparently, you have to spend $200. When I booked it, it said a $25 reservation fee. I was like, oh, that's not bad at all. I was expecting it to be so much worse. You have to spend $200. So that's gonna be fun. I have no idea what we're doing for the rest of the day. Nothing. Nothing. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. The one where Mama Kelly and Sam eat food. Lots of food, $200 worth of food. <laughs> Just like her. The boot on my car saying I didn't pay, even though we did. This day has gotten so much better. Let's <laughs> stay in downtown a little longer. Well, how do we get it off? I don't think you understand how I feel right now. I have a feeling you might be gonna tell us. We all made mistakes. Here's what happened. You see here, we parked in this spot at 156. We paid and we walked and we had a little grand old time at the Bobby Hotel. Thank you, McBob. Mom wanted a picture by Printer's Alley. So we stopped and take a picture blissfully, completely unaware. So happy at this point. Who would have known that at 309 we were sitting up in our igloo? And there was someone down here putting a, a boot, boot on, on the your car. car. I'm so confused. I have the receipt on my phone saying that I paid for it. And we had plenty of time left. We had it almost 5 p.m. and there's plenty of time. Why is there a boot on my car? Call the number, didn't answer. Call the number again. Say hi, yeah, we'll send somebody your way. Wants to see my receipt. I show him the receipt. Wiggles himself around the back of the car and goes, see here. <laughs> You entered the last number of the license plate incorrectly. Incorrectly. That's negligence. Why that word? I think that's what's bothering me. I'm not negligent. What does that mean? Well, you were negligent in the fact that you didn't pay attention to detail to put your license plate number incorrectly. He essentially said, I'm going to waive the ticket because I can see you paid for it, the parking, right? Because I did pay for the parking, $36. Because the ticket would have been an extra 75 He said, because since we had to use the boot, I need to charge you $50. To get the boot off. For him to 
turn the little key and take the boot off. It might have been because the boot was in use. Like that takes a boot away from them. But they can I would think that they'd have enough boot. Car next to us is booted. Is booted. <laughs> so he was on a boot. He was happy. He was boot happy. Yeah, that's what I was wanting to say. I saw I had to pay $50 and he just kept talking about how most people get really mad to him and bitch him out and cuss him out all day for this and they make him do it. And I was like, okay, well, you could enter that I was in right. That's the story of the boot. And here we are. $50. What did you learn? I'm never parking in this parking lot again. No, 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 silly Samantha. Well, now it's already entered in there, right? There is no lesson to learn. And then you won't get a boot. Yeah, but I shouldn't have gone boot. But you did it wrong. I mean, let's You would have done it wrong. I'm not saying I went to. I didn't say it. But in this case, we had to pay for our mistake. There was no one saying that he had to do that. No, he chose that. Yeah. I bet you he has a quota. That man could have just Taken set, set it little... matched and went on yeah. his merry way. Oh, I see what you did there. You just got one number off. I'll just take the boot off for you. That could have happened, but he didn't do that. So we just got to not let it ruin the rest of our evening because this is our last night together. We'll just move on with it. Can you really quit whining about it? You're overreacting. What's this? Well, it'll be completed dinner. We had to use two pans because that's what you had. <laughs> so we got some lasagna here, some lasagna here. They're exactly the same. Then we got some garlic bread. Nice Texas toast. Yes. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. I didn't film a lot for the rest of the day. I mean, jump scare, I'm crying. I have makeup all over my face. <laughs> After we ate dinner, which was fabulous, I went up and just sat in Mama Kelly's room while she packed. Why am I crying? And we just hung out and we watched TikToks. I don't know why it's so hard for her to leave this time. I got really sad last night knowing that she was leaving, like that it was our last day today. It just went so fast, especially because I've been working a lot. This is the reality of moving away from home. Sometimes some of your favorite people are just so far away. And I know that as an outsider, it might seem confusing as to why I just wouldn't move back to Wisconsin to be closer to her. I know it may be hard to understand, but like Wisconsin just isn't my home. I don't thrive there. I don't feel like that's where I'm supposed to be. I can't be the only person in the world that has experienced that. Like a need to move away from home to discover yourself and to experience things. But you have to leave people that you love so much behind. Obviously, I hope a day comes where my parents maybe leave Wisconsin and move to Florida or South Carolina or something like that. But until then, this is the reality. Me and Mama Kelly do a really good job of making sure we see each other like every month or so. I want to plan a trip for the end of January because if you didn't know this I get paid once a month so I get paid on the 21st for whatever my videos made the month before that. So I'll get paid for Vlogmas on January 21st. I always get myself something as like a, you survived it, <laughs> you did it. There's nothing I really want, but going on a trip would be fun. So I'm gonna plan us a trip for the end of January. I don't really feel like working or editing tonight. So I'm just gonna go to bed. Mama Kelly leaves like really early. I have to bring her to the airport around eight. I'll let you guys say goodbye, don't worry. <laughs> and Mama Kelly has a channel, so you can keep up with her there. I hate this feeling so much. The time has come that we dread the goodbyes See, until we meet again. You have to travel all day, which is just <laughs> dreadful. I want to sleep on your couch. I was so unwell last night. You can tell how unwell I was last night because I made her help me rearrange the entire living room. And her couch is mammoth size. We're trying to move this couch. She didn't know what she wanted. I don't so, think anything made you really happy until I made you lasagna. The lasagna? I've never moved my couch. It's always been exactly where it was. They always say, you know, you're having a mental breakdown or you're like really not okay when you start rearranging your furniture. I don't know that it fully works, but it's cozy. I just think you need to post more videos. I just never know what to post. But you can post anything. That's the point. Like, I was looking through her videos, and when McKelly only posts when she's traveling, I know that feeling of, well, my life isn't exciting, so why am I going to film it? For some reason, people just want to watch that. It makes them feel more, like, normal. So I was going to make a full video of me laying on the couch watching no Netflix. You could literally title it. I laid on the couch and watched Netflix. If you do that, I'll post a 10-minute video of me silently making a PBJ. I'll even post mine first for confidence. Alright. So when you guys see me post a 10 minute video of me making a PBJ. And me laying on a couch. If you're not sus subscribed to my channel yet, you guys need to get on that. Hey, you're almost at 30k. Look for
forward to some great new uh, content coming Mama. from Mama Kelly's channel. Saying goodbye is the hardest thing. I get on the plane and I just cry. I don't mean this bad, but I like being the person to say goodbye to somebody else so that they have to travel. Being the person oh. that has to travel is harder to me because I'm you're crying opposite. in front of other people. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm the opposite. Really? I prefer to be the one traveling. I think it's just because it's a distraction. Or a sense you have to sit with yourself. Oh, that's a good point. It, it is snowing. It is snowing. My outfit today, I didn't really think about how it's going to not be fun going through security. Shack it on or whatever this is called. I have on a belt, so I got to take the belt off. And then I have my Converse high tops on, which aren't the easiest shoes to get on and off. But I, they match the outfit. Okay, and then I've got this sweatshirt. It says Breckenridge. Colorado. It's from Abercrombie. I'm actually very impressed. Okay. Brown jeans on from Abercrombie. And I got some Converse. If you can see them. Them is leaving. I'm going home by Winston and Oliver and Finn and Kira. Come here. Go grab us some love. They slept with me last night. We started to kind of overtake the bed. It's snowing. I brought the snow. You brought the snow. Do -do -do -do. The weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And sun swim, no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. See you in January. We decided to go somewhere. I'm just gonna book it. You gotta show up. I gotta have enough money for a plane ticket. Why well, pay for it? No, you're no, not. This, is the, for this it. is the Vlogmas trip, and you were a participant in Vlogmas. Santa was too. You're not in costume. Oh. Well, Santa's got a regular life, you know. Mama Kelly is Santa. Sorry to break it to everybody, but everyone has to keep a secret. Just like everyone kept a secret for Miley. No one can tell. Mm. I can feel it.